A woman was arrested after police say she intentionally set her five-year-old stepdaughter's face on fire. 20-year-old Dahlia Jimenez initially told Grand Prairie Police the little girl was burned while lighting a candle. But police say the stepmother's story did not make sense. Fox 4's Macy Jenkins in Grand Prairie with a child abuse investigation. Macy. Clarice, good afternoon. Now, Grand Prairie Police earlier today described the five-year-old's injuries. They said burns were running down both sides of her cheeks to below the jawline and some small burns on her shoulders. Investigators say 20-year-old Dahlia Jimenez is responsible. Take a look at her mugshot. Police got a call from, uh, from an apartment complex in Grand Prairie on Monday, May 13th, concerned about a five-year-old girl. When officers arrived and spoke to 20-year-old Jimenez, she told them her stepdaughter had injuries from an accident while lighting a candle. She said that happened two days earlier. Detective Greg Parker with Grand Prairie PD says when investigators arrived, the child was in a great mood running around and playing with her younger sibling, but she did complain that her face was hurting. Take a listen. We were made aware on scene that there were there was prior uh, CPS history um, that the girl had suffered a broken arm in 2018 and we decided to go ahead and move forward with a forensic interview. And during that interview, the child told investigators that her stepmother hit her repeatedly with a belt and burned her. Jimenez eventually confessed to detectives that she intentionally poured rubbing alcohol on the girl's face and used a lighter to set that alcohol on fire. Grand Prairie PD says the child's father was not present at the time of the injury and is not considered a suspect. Child Protective Services has removed the five-year-old and her younger sibling from the home. Both children are staying with other family members. Now, Jimenez is charged with felony injury to a child. She was booked into the Grand Prairie Detention Center, but has bonded out. We'll keep you updated on the latest in this investigation.